call you by your name. How many of you read the book? Any book? We had an event like called Books and Bars, and it was kind of a, a collaboration event with a nonprofit organization called Black Men Read. Black Men Read's a nonprofit organization that actually started as a uh, book club. So what we found was that we just needed to focus more on encouraging young people to read, and that's how Black Men Read really got to start the way we are now today. We, we definitely encourage reading in all different variety of ways, and for pleasure, it's certainly something we want them to, to kind of get hooked on for themselves. So we want to provide that. And so what we tried to do was marry two things that we think that they would like. One, we like reading, but also maybe hip hop. You know, we love hip hop, and what we learned, one of the things we learned early is not to try to force what we want people to read onto them, but find areas and avenues that interest them and bring them books on that level. Uh, and so taking that together, we put together what we call the books and bars book list. So books, it makes perfect sense. You know, it's books, but bars, have people say, well, you know, are they, you know are they, what are they doing with bars and reading? But bars is a hip hop term. You know, it's a term for rap, for a lyric, for verses. And one of the things you say, people have a talent in that industry. And you'll hear the phrase, man, they've got bars. They're spitting bars. So it just kind of had a good feel to it, books and bars tying the, the literacy with it, tying the hip-hop with it, bringing them together. One of the most exciting things for us was the day we handed out the books back in February. Um, Black Men Read, uh, Demetrius and Lance brought in 25 copies of each. And we gave them an option to pick a book that maybe they can connect with. So one book was a murder mystery, still related to hip-hop. Uh, one was poetry and verse, still related to hip-hop. And then one was more of a continuation of a book that they had read already this year. It was so exciting when the kids came to sign up for the event and pick up their books. So many of them said, wait, I get to keep this? Like when I told them, you know, write your name in the book so you don't lose it and it doesn't get mixed up. They said, you mean I get to keep this book? And so many of them said, you know, this is the first book I've ever owned like this. So what we did was we said, let's take that activity that they really love, hip hop. We've married it with reading. And then now let's have some fun and, and associate reading more so with having a good time and, and sharing with uh, sharing an experience. We brought in national recording artist Cole Hicks. She was our DJ and MC. She, she actually did some of her work. Ain't no one gonna betray me. Show respect to the OG. Cole Hicks is the coldest. Yeah! And we had music. Some of them performed. I'm really scared. They never cared. I'm prepared. I want my words to be sure. I wouldn't give up. I swear. Love is really it's where your mind at and where your heart's at. I'm speaking out my hopes and dreams and making them come true. It's great to see their talent come out that they might not normally get to express in different ways. That was also nice to see that the audience, that our other students supported them. So we were really proud of that as well. What you do is slide it over, press it. Yes, so we had um, a button making station set up where kids could design and make their own buttons or we had some pre-made buttons that had to do with the books and um, books and reading in general. We had a green screen set up where kids could make their own album cover. We all ready? We had lots of different props so that the kids could choose their own background for their album cover and pick their own prop to design it however they wanted it to look. Oh, your lips are very neat and help you find the most dope reads. Um, so we felt like if we were going to ask the kids to, you know, get up in front of the others and perform that we needed to kind of go first and ease their nerves by getting up there and being silly. But if we got books to lend, hey, make sure that you sign in with you. <laughs> Our mottos in the library world this year is brave before perfect. You know, that's how you um, improve and grow by trying new things. So now, here's what you have. You have an event where now they've got a little spark that says, maybe reading can be fun. Maybe there is a book that I can actually enjoy. Maybe this will lead them to make that search happen. All right, good class.